Hi, Mark Oswald, your host for London Dairy Heart, Home and Soul. Everything you'd possibly want to know about the real estate market and finance, I have Mr. Dave Burns with Merrimack Mortgage and Nellie Dowdy to answer those questions. Welcome. How you doing, Mark? I'm great. Busy market. It's a great time in the market. Things yes, are happening. You know, spring is popping finally. The snow's melted. Just last, last week. Last piece of snow, <laughs> gone Saturday. It's like gone. It's like, get the rakes out. But. Okay, let's go. All right. So it's a good time. And the sellers are coming back to the market because, you know, if you've been in the market looking for a home, you know the inventory's been a little bit uh, tight. So there's going to be a lot more homes coming to market in the next couple of months, and it's a great time to buy. What are you, what are you projecting or what are you seeing through this year? It's, it's, it's as good as it's been. I mean, last year we had a banner year for purchases. It was one of the best years. I've been doing this for 34 years, and last year was one of the best years we've had. This year looks to be about the same. I mean, it's a lot of activity. Interest rates are still historically low, and it's a great time to buy. A lot of talking about rate hikes. I'm not, from my perspective as a realtor, I'm not seeing a lot of influence with that. No, actually, since uh, Mr. Mr. Trump became our president, there's been a lot of volatility. Rates kind of jumped up a little bit at the beginning, but since then it's really been tempered and rates have actually started to drift back down. You know, we see a little bit of tug and war between the stock market and the bond market, so stocks are up, bonds are down, and back and forth, but it, overall it's been pretty stable, and the rates are still right in the 4% range, so it's really very attractive. But the prime rate that's impacting the home equity lines it's going to open up yeah, I an mean, ability for refinancing and fixing those Well, what's happened, rates? too, over the last couple of years, with the pickup in purchases last year, home values have started to appreciate again, so people have equity again. You know, a couple of years ago, you talk, I mean, the crash started in 2008. And people had negative equity, right. and now that's kind of all going away. So sellers now have some equity. They can put their homes in the market and get out of the property and make some money. I've seen a lot of empty nesters that are calling me. Okay, now, now we're back, we're whole, we want to sell, we want to downsize, move south, whatever. I'm with you. Yeah. I'll be there myself before long. Well, call me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not leaving just yet. Okay, all right. Okay. We don't want to start any rumors. <laughs> yeah. We don't want any fake no. news. Right? None of, no fake no news. No fake That's news. Right. That's right. Too funny. But. Good. What, what are you seeing locally, Nelly? I know you spend a lot of time between here and Concord, but what... Um, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of activity. Actually, it's been really great for me lately. A, a lot of um, bidding wars, not a whole lot of volatility with the rates. They've gone up a little bit. They're not quite as low as they were, but um, they're pretty stable. Um, I've had a couple of, you can address this, I've had a couple of clients lose out on offers <coughs> because of the competing offers. So Still a lot of communication required, a lot of education, both mm -hmm. with sellers and with buyers. Mm -hmm. You know, right now with the lack of inventory, it's when, the, when that house comes on the market, it's like a feeding frenzy and people are all over it. That's why we always recommend you get pre-approved. Yeah. You know, that way you have a strong offer that your mortgage is already, you know, taken care of. More people should take advantage of that. Well, I sing that song on a continuum because when I first started this business many years ago, this couple, she had the picture of the little cape with the picket fence and all that. Found out they qualified for about half the cost of that house. So right. <laughs> if we're going to go out and look, you got to make sure that you're confident with what you're going to buy. Yeah, and so. you don't want to spend your Saturday afternoon driving around looking at houses you can't afford. I so. don't mind. I just don't want to break anybody's heart. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. did, did that once, not going to do it again. What, what do you see longer term uh, in, the, in the market, particularly in New Hampshire? Don't you have a crystal ball, Dave? Oh, boy, that's a tough one. I mean, it's, it's really difficult. I mean, New Hampshire continually gets great reviews from around the country for a great place to live. It was recently rated the number one place to retire by uh, Banker, Bankrate.com. It rated New Hampshire number one place to retire. So there's a lot of good press. I think New Hampshire's got a lot to offer, and I think property values are going to stay pretty well, healthy. Low yet. unemployment. Yeah. I mean, walk, walk by any restaurant or retail store, and they've got a help wanted sign in the window. Lots of new construction going on, too, yeah. in New Hampshire right now. A lot of good things starts. happening. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, yep. you're near Boston, you're near the seacoast, you're near the mountains. I mean, it's a great place to be. Absolutely. It's, unless it's a Febu February morning and the winds are whipping and it's zero degrees. I yeah. can think of better places to be. I, I've got family that don't live in this region. They'll say, is there anything you don't like about New England? I said, there's only three things I don't like about New England. 
January, February, and March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now that we're in the middle of April, this is, uh, this is the season, right? So this is prime buying season right now. People are really out there looking, so it's a great time to buy, yeah. but you know, it's a great time to sell. Yeah, I think especially families with school-aged children, they want to be settled before school starts. So I've always maintained April, May, June, because by July 4th, if you've got a contract, you can close mid-April mm -hmm. or mid-August, excuse me, and, and uh, the kids are settled and ready to go. Yeah. And again, you don't have to find the perfect house. We find a house that's got a little, a few things wrong with it. You can always get a renovation loan. There's other things you can do to spruce up the house. It right. may not be the house of your dreams day one, but you can make it the house of your dreams. Yeah, we had Brian Johnson on earlier, and he was talking about renovation, yep. 203K, so mm -hmm. some good products. Sure. Yeah, and that's one thing. You hear a lot on the TV about how it's hard to get loans nowadays, and I wouldn't say it's hard to get a mortgage. It's just there's a lot of paperwork. It, you know, it's yeah. an education process. It's not as simple as pushing a button and getting a mortgage, despite <laughs> what you might hear on television. But we're not uh, just having to educate first-time home buyers, second and third, you know, second and third-time yeah. home buyers. This is a whole new world for and them. There's a lot well. of different products. I mean, yeah, you have a 30-year fixed rate, but that may not be the the right product. There's a lot of things to really consider. That's why I have clients call you. Yeah. I sell houses. You guys provide the funds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Good. Well, thanks for stopping out. Oh, it's thanks been a pleasure. For thanks us. for having us. Nellie, good to see you again. Good to see you as well. Thanks, nice Dave. Job. And thank, thank you. you for watching. If you have further questions, uh, credits will roll and you can contact Mr. Burns or Ms. Dowdy at your convenience. Thanks for watching.